Hi, good morning. I am J. Suresh Kumar, working as assistant professor, department of KSR College of Arts and Science Women. Hi, good morning. I am J. Suresh Kumar, working as assistant professor, department of English, KSR College of Arts and Science for Women. Today we are going to see English Literature for Competitive Examinations, Unit 2. Let's enter into the topic. Unit 2 consists of 5 major topics. A renaissance, the age of Shakespeare, and Shakespeare's contemporaries and his successes, and those writers on his age, and Milton and Dryden. Next topic, the restoration prose. Let's enter into the topic. The first topic consists of the renaissance. The renaissance lasted for nearly 3 centuries in three successive periods. The first successive period was Tricento. It starts in the 14th century. Next is the Quadrancento in 15th century. The third in Chin Quadrancento in 16th century. The region of Elizabeth I began in 1558 and ended with her death in 1603. She was succeeded by the Stuart King James VI Scotland who took the title James I of the England as well as Let's see some of the important writers and their works on Renaissance age. Some of the important writers in the Renaissance age are Sir Philip Sidney in England, first a neoclassical literary treatise. His major works was Defense of Poesy. It was published in 1598. Daniel's Delia in 1592 is an eloquent and elegant, dignified and high-minded work. Dryden's Idea Mirror in 1594 and it was revised in 1619. Spencer's Ambrothy 1595. The Thomas Hobbes a Castro Lane in 1561. Sir Thomas Noth Plutarch in 1579. I hope you hear about the word Plutarch. In many competitive exams, the word Plutarch has been oftenly repeated. Your father's stimulus was a religious upwell took the place in the middle of the century and some more works. Next, the topic Age of Shakespeare. It starts in the 1342-1400. The poetical production of the period reached a high standard. Because of the age of Shakespeare, the poetical forms of poems has been reached in a high standard. It was in well-versed forms. It was a very verified, the most fashionable forms were being sung. The sonnet and the mythological taste in the verse. Second, the besides the most remarkable poets such as in verse, Philip Sidney, Ben Johnson, John Donne. We may quote some other such as Samuel Daniels in 1562-1016. The University Wits. I hope you know about the University Wits. Uh, the University Wits and writers. The University Wits during the last six years of 16th century, the number of authors who had university education called as the University Wits began to the write for the popular stages. The regret themselves the poet men and learning the rather than the dramatist. The, some other important writers are George Pillay, Thomas Lodge, Thomas Natch, and Robert Green, John Lilly. Next, uh, Shakespeare contemporaries and his successes on this age are the age was specially prescribed in the text 1582-1625. The writer and playwright working in the same era, the Shakespeare included Christopher Marlowe, Thomas Middleton, John Webster, Ben Johnson, and Thomas Decker. Some more writers are Thomas Kidd, Christopher Marlowe, Ben Johnson, Thomas Decker, John Webster, Francis Beeman, Philip Messenger, John Ford. The chief glory of the English stage in the Elizabethan age certainly lay with the Shakespeare's and his great precedents. Thomas Kidd and Christopher Marlowe, nevertheless, the English drama was as not exhausted with them. Next, the middle Milton and Dryden. The age was 1625 to 1700. The Puritanism and Restoration was also prescribed as a subtopics. The age of Milton and the quantum writers fall in the measure of physical, metaphysical. Did you know about the difference between the physical and metaphysical poems? The prose and the poetry both fall into the age. The cavalier groups or Carolyn poets, those who have inspiration was entirely almost secular. The major Puritan writer was John Bunyan, the Pilgrim Prophets. It was a uh, familiar works in a PG syllabus. The Puritan banned all forms of public entertainment, like they closed the theatres, music halls, dramas. They banned entirely all entertainment things because they give only preference to the religious, church-oriented themes. The restoration brought fun back. The London became a blooming theatrical centre. 
next the restoration proofs the period of 1600 to 1700 is known as the restoration period or the age of dryden the dryden was the representative writer of this period the restoration king of charles II and 1600s the john dryden was one of the greatest prose writer on those age and john bunyan also the contest the supremacy of dryden to domain the restoration prose these are the important prose writers on the age of restoration thanks for watching the video